Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you all doing well. Having a really great day. This video, just doing a simple unboxing of a green colored or teal color KS Zero Pro. I ordered about ten of these. One just came in. The other nine, I'm not sure if they're lost or they got stolen. I didn't get any update. So, but I got one here. <laughs> I'll update you guys once I get the other nine. But let's go ahead and unbox this new. KS Zero Pro. It's it's not really new. I guess the KS Zero Pro has been out for a while. iServer has just done a commemorative style KS Zero Pro for Caspa, obviously. So let's uh, let's see what this looks like and unbox it here. Okay, so it comes in the same very nice package foam piece here. Ooh. Oh, mine comes with the power supply. Oh, that's nice. Well, actually, I won't be using this. I'll be using a Veteran Miner uh, new barrel plug to PCIe cable. I'll explain this later on as we go along, but let's just uh, unbox this KS0 first. This looks really cool. Okay, actually, no, it comes with a... Okay, this is the power cable adapter for the laptop brick, which, again, I won't be using. And there's a little little box in here. What's this? What's this? Let me open this. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a little Caspa keychain. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice touch. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. Awesome. Wow. I wonder who, I wonder who made these. Uh, or maybe it was Ice River. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's now unbox the KS Zero Pro itself. Okay. Let's take a look at this color. This is this is pretty interesting. I'm going to take this box away. Okay. All right, look at that. Wow, that's a that's a really cool. That's a really nice color. It's like metallic metallic teal. Okay, so it's pretty hard to take it out of this foam packaging. It's pretty tight in here, but there we go. Oh yeah. That's nice. Okay, let me put this foam piece down. All right, let me showcase the beauty of this KS Zero Pro commemorative edition from Ice River. This is, this is sleek, man. The color is really nice. I really like this. You guys can notice the, yeah, metallic color here. But, oh, look at that. They have the Caspa logo on front. So they also do have a keychain along with it, but they also have a, yeah, this looks like a metal, aluminum, not sure if it's metal or steel. Uh, piece here that has the Caspa logo. That's that's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. I really like that. And then, okay, this is all the same. They do have the small, I think, 20 mil fans or 40 mil fans underneath here. And yeah, okay, this is this is really cool. So I'm excited for my other nine that I placed an order for. And uh, now I want to explain something with you guys. Okay, so let me know. Uh, what you guys think about this I, actually I see that they have the uh, warranty sticker this is this is definitely going to be uh, voided because I am gonna take all of them apart and I am gonna be doing a lot of different mods to these KS Zero Pros all 10 of them my goal is to ultimately overclock all of these with the PB Farmers uh, firmware, which the dev fee goes to the Caspa developers, which is really cool. So I'm gonna support them by doing that. Okay, I believe it's 1%. And so my plan not only is to overclock, okay, but the mods, I wanna talk with you guys here, uh, just prepping here. So I've learned a lot of different mods from a bunch of different YouTubers, okay? Um, not only have I gotten a bunch of these uh, fan shroud kits, which go on the KS Zero Pro like so, okay, like this, but which by the way, these were from the meterbox.com, which look at that, that actually matches pretty good. Uh, so I got 10 kits and uh, the meter box sent me 10 because, well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do two fans on each side or just one fan uh, on each side, okay, like this, which I'm gonna be doing um, Noctua uh, industrial PPC fans. These are 3000 RPM, 110 CFM, 
and they're just gonna go in like this. And I, I'm wanting to power these KS0 Pros along with the fans with a single HP server PSU. Okay, you guys can let me know what you think about this, okay? All right, so this is one which I want to power the KS0 with the new Veteran Miner metal bar barrel plug, you guys can see here, to a six pin connector, but it's actually using two wires, okay? So that's gonna go in like so. And I am gonna plug this into the barrel plug side, which, uh, okay, this is actually gonna go on this side here, like so, okay? So just like that. Quick pause, I'm giving away a nice over KS0 Pro along with the new metal barrel plug from the veteranminer.com. All you guys gotta do to participate is to comment on Max Voltage's video that I'll have linked down below in the description. You also have to subscribe to Mr. Max Voltage, but comment with anything positive about crypto mining and which country you are from. I'm gonna be giving away a KS0 Pro live on Sunday's live stream upcoming here. So get your comments in Max Voltage's video and please be sure to subscribe to Max Voltage. Hit the notification bell as well. Please support my fellow friend and content creator. And some of you guys may be wondering, Red Panda, how are you gonna power the fans from the HP server? Well, I ordered a few of these uh, PCIe Okay, to, uh, this is the female end, into the four pin fan headers, okay? It splits into three. I also bought a version that splits into uh, six, okay? But I'm uh, not sure, depending on how much wattage these Noctua fans will take, I'm, I'm assuming this six pin should be enough. 150 watts capable on a six pin should be fine. And yeah, so I'm gonna power the fans and I did verify it does work with these things. I'll have a link down below in case you guys wanna try it, but let me get them all set up first with 10 and make sure it works uh, before you guys buy it. So maybe not, I won't link it. But anyways, I got these. Okay, so that's the mod I wanna do for, I guess, the outside. Now, internally, all right, I'm gonna have to uh, take apart all of these KS0 Pros. Okay, well, once I get my 10, I'm gonna do many, many live streams of taking these apart, okay? So I'm gonna be unscrewing the sides here, okay? And oh, another thing, I know the meter box did send me a bunch of these sides, which uh, I'm probably not gonna use. I'm just gonna have them off as uh, it might restrict the airflow a bit. You know, I was talking to uh, Don't Mind Me Mining, uh, Greater Good Mining, and uh, they said, yeah, you know, these will probably restrict the airflow a bit. So most of them just have it off, the side panel um, off. And though it does look cool, but it will be covered anyway by the shrouds if I decide to use both of them. But anyways, unscrew the sides. I'm going to take it apart. I am going to be changing the 1.5 uh, millimeter thermal pads that are on the, I guess, the... Uh, the heatsink part, okay, so I'm going to replace those with 1.5 millimeter uh, GP risers, 20 watt meter Kelvin thermal pads, okay, it should be really good. I have a whole bunch of these, and so I'm going to do that, along with the thermal paste, all right, re-thermal pasting the, the stock, you know, the pink KS0 Pro thermal paste. I'm curious to know, actually, if Ice River has fixed that, if they put better thermal paste, but when I do the live stream of taking apart, I will... I'll let you guys know. So, but anyways, I'm gonna replace it with MX6 thermal paste. And as well, I don't have it here, but there are MOSFETs, four MOSFET like VRM chips that will need copper uh, heat sinks. I ordered those, they haven't come in yet. So once they do come, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna put those on. I learned that from a bunch of other YouTubers. Don't mind me mining, greater good mining. You guys are awesome. I learned all these mods from those guys. So yeah, that should really be all the mods that I want to do on the KS0, okay? So the thermal paste, thermal pads, 1.5 meter, millimeter thermal pads, the heat sinks for the MOSFETs, I want to do the fan shroud with the Noctua fan, singular fan, or maybe dual fan. If I do dual fans, it's gonna get really expensive because these fans are not cheap. So if I need to do dual Noctua fans on each side, that's gonna be like, I need 20. I, I would need 20 of these Noctua industrial PPC fans, and that's not gonna be cheap. So I will decide that first once I try it out with one side, okay, with an industrial uh, Noctua industrial PPC fan first, 
and then I'll just see how the temperatures are as well as the overclocks uh, that I'm going to do uh, using PB Farmers overclock. Okay, I'm hoping to do at least 300 giga hash. I know people have gone up to 360 or more. We'll see. My biggest concern is going to be through one of these veteran miner PCIe cables. He only warrants them for stock power consumption, all right, which is like, what, 100 watts or so. So I got to be mindful, right? If I'm going to overclock, I'm, I'm, I may risk burning these up. I may risk, I don't know, melting the KS0 Pros. Maybe, but I think doing the new thermal paste, you know, copper mods, the new thermal pads, it should be pretty good along with having the fan that should really keep it cool. But I think the issue might potentially be with the uh, cable here, but we'll see if I can pull more than, I don't know, 150, 160 watts through one of these things. We'll see, we'll see. I will do some tests and I'll use my thermal gun to see, you know, what the, you know, temperature will be on like one of these cables. Yeah, a lot of fun ahead guys, a lot of fun ahead. But this KS0 Pro though, ice server, did a really nice job on this color. I do really like this. And I know there are, now there's the Gold Shell KA box, uh, which is a bit more efficient now than this. But uh, you can argue, I think right now, the price of those Gold Shells uh, may not equal, especially you can you know overclock these. Right now they're all sold out anyway. <laughs> the KA boxes are sold out. The Ice Server KS0 Pros are sold out. So I don't think anyone can really buy them anyway. But this is gonna be a fun project, okay guys? So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you guys think. All that I talked about here. Let me know what you guys think about the color. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun this coming couple days here, maybe next week that I'll be modding and uh, re-thermal pasting, re-padding, adding the copper uh, heat sinks to the MOSFETs. Gonna have some fun and we're gonna see if it works. And overclocking and we're gonna see how much power it's gonna pull and the temperatures. So fun stuff ahead. All right, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this style video. I appreciate you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. I really like that. I really like they added this. This is a nice touch, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to remove the, I'm gonna have to remove this. So that's, that's gonna be sad.